Now she came, she saw, and she indeed conquered. That was the pal, family, friends, and well wishes summed up the life and times of the founder of Bala Latinwo and co-firm of solicitors and advocates, Chief Mrs. Adebola Latinwo, during an event to lay her to rest. Chief Adebola Latinwo died on ja in January, that's at the age of 62. Activities to give her a befitting burial began with the wakey and an evening of tribute. <laughs> The news of the death of the founder of Bola Latin War and Co, firm of solicitors and advocates, Chief Mrs. Adebola Latin War, came as a shock to many. This is one huge loss to her family and friends who testified to how she affected so many lives during her impactful stay on earth. The reality of her death stares everyone right here in the face at the Christian Wake especially her dear husband Ladikwo and children Dolakwo, Koinsola and Dikwo Jr., who were left to bear the weight of the pain. Whatever happens or can happen has already happened before. God makes the same thing happen again and again. This is the word of the Lord. Events like this, according to the vicar of our Savior's Church, Venerable Tunde Oyedira, are wake up calls to reappraise our relationship with God. Earth is real and heaven is real. We live our lives as if we are going to live forever in this world. And that is the undoing of our nation. We don't know the last day we shall be on this earth. Her life evolved around her profession as a renowned lawyer, a dutiful wife, a loving mother and grandmother, and a great lover of fashion and style, whilst also living a life of service to God and humanity, as attested to by some of the guests present. She knew that to be absent from the body was to be present with the Lord. I recall appearing with her on our television show, and she was so confident about what the end should be for every true believer. She made it very clear that history was being made in that church, being the first woman to climb our Savior's church pulpit for nearly a hundred years. She was a joy that cannot and never be taken away from us. A friend who helped us through difficult times. Her memories will last for miles and miles. She was a very trusted and loyal friend turned sister. The fact of her always having been there, no doubt, helped our mother navigate the various challenges she encountered with her own efforts to excel. We expected many more years of being together, but we are not deterred because we know that Bola lived a full and complete life. Lord, please show me every day as you teach in me your way that you do just what you say in his time. For her children, the testimonies here about their mother is a huge consolation. I'm really grateful for everybody that actually expressed themselves, but I knew how much they loved her and I knew deeply how much she loved them as well. She was a role model to a lot of people in society, as you heard today. She was a mother, she was a sister, she was a friend, she was 
know, someone you could talk to about anything. If she ties the regular style, like what I'm tying, people would come at me and say, no, we didn't recognize you, tie it the way we know it, you know. And she was unique in many ways, not just in tying Hageli, but in so many other ways, distinct and everything. She always, you know, put me in the right direction in everything I was doing. And she was never actually wrong. In all her steps, she always took the right decision and gave me the right counsel. At our Saviour's Church, the Fawa Belewa Square in Lagos, where the funeral service was held, it was a large congregation of friends and well wishes joining her family in their moment of grief. This is the church where she worshipped, playing key roles in different activities towards the spiritual growth of the church. The journey continues as the service officially came to an end. At the graveside, everyone paid their last respect as she was finally interred at Ebony Vaults and Gardens. Chief Mrs. Adebola Latewa graduated from the University of Ileife, now Obafemi Awolowo University in Osho State, where she studied law and was called to the bar in 1977. She had her postgraduate degree at the London School of Economics and the Certificate in Legal Drafting. On her return to Nigeria, she started practicing her law profession, which over the years brought her fame and fortune. She may be gone, but not to be forgotten. May her soul find rest in the Lord's bosom.